if they're harming you, stand up for yourself. Don't don't let them do it again. You're going to war. Yes. I don't want you to go. Why can't we stay together? What if I can't bring Dad back? How? How are you going to bring Dad back? I can move him out. You want to move a mountain? There's one. Go ahead. Move it. <gasps> Was that an earthquake? It's a miracle. Now, for one scene, you have to you have to ball your eyes out. How <laughs> difficult was was you know was that scene that day? Well, the funeral scene was one of the hardest, and it it was very challenging. But I knew. I knew I could do it because I had gone. And Michael, you, we usually see you kind of in R-rated, mm -hmm. right rated movies. And you know, how was it working on this movie, which is so sweet and you know, tugs at your heart? It, it was. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure working on the film. It was, uh, I'm excited to be in a movie that everybody could see, especially kids uh, and older people and everybody in between. Um, you know, I think that the, the character that I got to play, you know, is sort of the best re representation of myself. And, and the best rep representation of a father-son relationship, which mm -hmm. is very important to me personally, and I think you know to anybody. You know, you either, you know, been a been a son or a daughter, and you or you have a, a mother or father, and I think uh, you know that this this relationship really articulates the importance of that. And you know, and I just think it's a really special sort of timeless story, right. um, and and uh, it's all anchored by by Jacob and his performance, which is just I think you know, one in a million performance. Hey, where's your cane, Tiny Tim? Yeah, it's really too soon to make any diagnosis. Let's just say you're a little boy. Part of the message of the movie is that kids get bullied and also adults get bullied. Yeah. What would your message be to those people out there who, you know, just like to bully the kids or the adults? I would say trust in God and stand up for yourself if they're harming you. Stand up for yourself. Don't, don't let them do it again. If you, if you never show, if you always show fear and you, if you always show that you're afraid of them, they're gonna come back. Like, one of the things I did was nickel or dime. And that was every single school day in, in the short film, this guy would come up to me and say, what do you want, the nickel or the dime? And I chose the nickel every single time. Now, what he didn't understand about that is he, he would stop giving me a dime or a nickel if I chose the dime. So I just kept taking the nickels. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the main, main things, you know? Mm -hmm. And Michael, what would you say on that subject? As far as bullying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that, you know, it, 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 especially with, with, with kids, it's, it's, it's a heartbreaking thing. I think everybody's either done it or had it done to them in one way. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's one of these sort of hot button topics of political correctness, but I would say it's good. It's a good, important mm -hmm. button of political correctness. You know, I think that it's good that people are becoming more aware of it, and it's good that the youth is becoming more aware of it to, to tone it down. I think it's human nature, and there's, you know, it's going to happen, but as long as it doesn't get excessive and crossing a line, I think that's the most important thing. And I, and I love that the, the movie, you know, deals with that, those messages and, and those themes and that topic, it, you know, without hammering over. It's not like the movie's about that. It doesn't right. hammer yeah. it over the head. So I think it's really, really good. It's up to you to achieve the impossible. It takes courage to believe.